Och matchen verkar vara bara att det inte går hela. Då är det lite fart att det är namn i artikeln. Det är ett inne snick med ett bok i. Så får vi komma andra var. Vi har också och varje bok. Det är inte att jag får vara. Att komma rätt och lär. Det kan vara mig till att jag har fått det färdigt. Så att det är mig att jag får vara. Och det är det. Det är lite mig att jag ska ta ut. Det är inte att jag får det. Det är inte att jag får det. Det är inte att jag får det. Tena tata, tena tata kaso. Ha ka tau mai ki nga whanau, 
Uh, so we've just come to the nearly to the end of our uh, process of our custom. We just want to ask the uh, our councillors and our co-master uh, to come around and our co to come around and party room. You can press nose, do the elbow, do the tukimata, however you feel comfortable with. Then you will return to your seats and then we'll, then we'll bring you cross over to our side. Kia Sorry, everybody else, I'm going to see you all night.
Uh, kia ora tātou. Um, Beverly is about to start the process of karanga, which will then the uh, standing um, governors, uh, councillors will then arise and then come across to to your seats on this side. Kia ora tātou. And then um, just give us a couple of minutes after that, we're going to bring some setups in here, and then I'm going to hand it over to our um, Chief Executive, um, Richard. Kia ora tātou. Kia ora tato. So we're about to do a little bit of a setup. Uh, so just get, please give us about five, three to five minutes. Uh, we've got empty seats in the front now, so you, anyone's welcome to come and sit in the front if you wish to. Kia ora tato.
Just a bit of a warning, when you come in the front seat, you'll be in the photos a lot. Katangi to Titi, Tatangi to Kaka, Katangi Hoki Aho, Tihe Māoriora. The Titi is calling, the Kaka is calling, and I wish to call. Behold, there is life. Ko Richard Toko Ingoa, Ko Aho, Titumu Fakaira, O Tikonihira O Ahiriri, Tina Koto Katoa. Welcome, Your Worship, Mayor elect. Councillors elect and their whanau and friends and all these fine folk. Congratulations on your appointments to the council table. It is great to see so many familiar faces and some new. Um, this meeting marks the end of the interregnum period. Interregnum, it's a great word. And it was a great period where I got to make all the decisions and the mayor and the councillors got to make none. Uh, Jess, our Director of uh, Corporate Services, and myself, we did consider trying to extend it um, uh, so we could totally clean out the reserves, but we thought better of it. Uh, jokes aside, the leadership team and the whole of Council is looking very much forward to working with the new Council uh, and to smash it out of the park, this triennium. Our collective love of Napier is why we are all here this evening. The pride we all feel for our city is what drives us to deliver great outcomes for our community and the reason you have all put up your hands to serve the city. Around this room, I see passion and determination to make a difference, and I would like to thank you for your commitment to guiding our organisation to make a positive difference. Okay, it's now time to move on to the formal inauguration as required by the Local Government Act 2002, Schedule 7, Clause 14, and Clauses 21, 5A. Your Worship, I'd like now, you'd, I'd, would like to now invite you to make your declaration. I, Kirsten Marie Wise, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of Napier City, the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as Mayor of Napier City Council. By virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act.
Now that Mia Wise has uh, made and signed her declaration, she can preside over the meeting and assume her role as the chair. Hand over to you. Welcome everybody, it's so lovely to have you all here this evening and we will now continue with the declar declarations of our councillors elect uh, who I will call up one by one to read out their declaration and sign this. So first of all I would like to please call up our councillor Maxine Bode. I, Maxine Bogue, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform, in the best interests of Napier City, the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Napier City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. I'd now like to call up Councillor Annette Brosnan. Call Annette Louise Brosnan Aho. I declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute, perform in the best interests of Napier City Council, the powers, authorities, and duties vested in or upon me as a member of the Napier City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information Act 1987 or any other act. I will next invite Councillor Hayley Brown to come and do her declaration, please. I, Hayley Dawn Young Brown, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of Napier City the powers, authorities and duties vested in or opposed upon me as a member of the Napier City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. Now welcome Councillor Rhonda Crystal. I, Rhonda Susan Crystal, declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and judgement execute and perform in the best interests of Napier City the powers and authorities and duties vested or imposed upon me as a member of the Napier City Council 
by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. I invite Juliet Gregg to come and read her declaration, please, Councillor. I, Juliet Margaret Gregg, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of Napier City the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Napier City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. And the last of our female councillors, Councillor Sally Crown. Ko aho, ko oatiana ka faia ho, Sally Anita Hineu Pakia Crown. Te pono me te tōkike, i runga hoki e te mutinga ki a mai nei o āku pūkinga, o āku whakatau hoki ki a whakatūtuki, ki a mahi anō hoki i te mana whakahaire, Te mana whakatau me ngā momo mahi, kua uhia, ki runga i āau, ki a fifi paenga mō te takiwa o ahuriri. Hei te kāhika, hei mema, e ai hoki ki a ai hoki ki te ture kāwanatanga a taiao 2002, ki te ture kāwanatanga a taiao whakapai me te hui 1987. Me etahi ture anō rā nei. I will now invite Councillor Gregory Mawson. <laughs> Didn't realise I was being told off already. I, Gregory John Mawson, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of Napier City the powers, authorities, and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Napier City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act.
by Richard McGrath. I, Richard Mark McGrath, declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of Napier City the powers, authorities and duties vested in or, or imposed upon me as a member of the City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meeting Act 1987, or any other act. Councillor Keith Price. I, Keith Douglas Price, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interest of Napier City the powers, authorities, and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Napier City Council by virtue of the local. Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. Councillor Nigel Simpson. I, Ralph Nigel Simpson, declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and judgment execute and perform in the best interest of Napier City the powers, authorities and duties vested in were imposed upon me as a member of the Napier City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. Councillor Chad Tariha. Ha huri noi tō tātou nei whare atāhua. Ko a hau, ko Chad Tariha e oati ana ka whai a hau i te pono me te tōkeke i runga hoki i te mutinga ke mai nei o āku pūkenga o āku whakatau hoki ki a whakatutuki ki a mahi anō hoki i te mana whakahaere Te mana, te mana whakatau me ngā momo mahi kua uhia ki runga i au, kia whiwhi pāinga mo te takiwā o ahuriri, hei te kāheka, hei mema e ai hoki ki e ai hoki ki te turi kāwana tanga a tai ao rua mano marua, ki te turi kāwana tanga a tai ao whakapai me te hui a tahibano i warau waru te kaumāwhitu me e tahi turi anō rānei.
lastly, I call on Councillor Graham Taylor. I, Graham Keith Taylor, declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and judgment execute and perform in the best interest of Napier City the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Napier City Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act. One more round of applause for all our newly elected councillors. And I've just realised in alphabetical order, all of our female councillors come first and then the men follow. <laughs> And welcome to our beautiful War Memorial Centre tonight for our triennial council meeting. It's an absolute honour to be standing here, re-elected as the Mayor of Napier City, and I am looking forward to serving our community for another three years. I would like to extend my congratulations to all of our councillors, Welcome back to those of you who are returning, and a special welcome to our new councillors, Chad and Juliet. I am looking forward to working with all of you and feel fortunate to lead a council of such high calibre, experience, diversity, and most importantly, passion for our community. A very warm welcome to Fano and friends who have joined us tonight for our formal swearing-in. We could not succeed in these roles without the support of all of you. And I'm sure I speak on behalf of everyone around the council table when I thank you for this support. And I know from my own experience, it's sometimes immense tolerance when you have to sit through yet another prolonged dissection of a council issue or decision. As I enter my fourth term on council and second term as mayor, I have been reflecting on the past nine years. There have been many challenges, many changes and many learnings, particularly in the last three years, which we can take forward into this new triennium. Looking to the future, I am very excited about the opportunities that we have ahead of us over the next three years. We have hit the ground running with two incredibly important projects underway already. The demolition of our civic building in preparation for our new library and community hub, and the long-awaited restoration of our war memorial, which you would have seen as you arrived tonight. These two projects are very dear to my heart and I cannot wait to share the ongoing progress with our community. We also have a number of challenges ahead of us, including the ever-increasing cost of living, our need for social and affordable housing, tackling climate change and the numerous central government reforms which are currently in play. And this is just a few of the things that we have ahead of us in the next three years. What we must always remember is that our local community must be at the heart of all of our decision making. And we must continue to advocate for local voice, local accountability and local ownership. Significant progress has been made over recent years, building relationships with our neighbouring councils 
and these relationships will become even more important over the next three years as we embark on initiatives such as the Regional Spatial Plan, the Regional Economic Development Agency, and start unpacking what the local government reforms mean for us as a region. I would like to say thank you to Tawaka Rangapu, the executive leadership team, and all of the staff who are here with us this evening for our beautiful pōhere and welcome into the new triennium. We have a busy three years ahead of us, and I know we are all committed to working together and ensuring we have a strong, cohesive, supportive team to do the very best that we can for our community. And finally, to close, thank you to our community who have selected us to govern our city for the next three years. We are here because of you. We are here to represent you. And we are here to serve you. He aha te mianui o te au. He tangata, he tangata, he tangata. What is the most important thing in the world? It is people, it is people, it is people. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. We now have uh, just a few short agenda items, procedural and one perhaps not quite so procedural, and that will then uh, bring us to the conclusion of our official uh, part of this evening's celebrations. Our uh, first agenda item is the appointment of our Deputy Mayor. And the officer's recommendation is that we note under section 41A of the Local Government Act 2002, the Mayor has the power to appoint the Deputy Mayor. Note that the Mayor has chosen to use her power to appoint the Deputy Mayor. And note that the Mayor has appointed Councillor Annette Brosnan as Deputy Mayor for the 2022-2025 triennium in accordance with section 41A, 3A of the Local Government Act 2002. And I will move that from the Chair and ask for a seconder, please. Thank you, Councillor Price. I'd just like to say a few words um, about Annette. Um, and congratulate her on, on her um, becoming the Deputy Mayor. It's always good in a second term because it means you've done all right in the first term. Um, we go a long way back um, to when she came to me and I was in the Timothy Award and she said, you better get out here and go large because I'm coming through. And she got into council and since then we've um, had a, a good liaison, a few coffees and a lot of chats. And um, she's been in a very, very effective Deputy Mayor and... Um, with my help, she'll be a very good deputy mayor in this next term. <laughs> so thank you and well done. Thank you, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> you left her hanging. Uh, so, yes, I too would like to thank Annette for serving as our and my deputy mayor in the 2019-22 uh, triennium. And on a personal note, I would like to thank Annette for all the support that she has provided me, not just over the past three years as my deputy, uh, but over the nine years that we have served together on council, having been elected uh, together at the same time. And Annette and I, we, we do not always agree 
on everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's actually why it works so well, and it's a really important part, I think, um, often in a mayor and deputy mayor's relationship to not always be in agreement. Uh, we work incredibly well together, we challenge each other's views, we question each other's assumptions, and we bring our very different life experiences um, to the decision-making processes and the leadership of our city. Um, I know, Annette, that you are respected um, by your fellow councillors, and you're always on hand to offer support and assistance when required. Your passion for local government, uh, your commitment to our community, and your support of not only myself, but your fellow councillors is greatly valued, and um, it is my absolute pleasure to reappoint you as my deputy for a second term. I will just invite any other councillors to speak before we put it to the vote. That being the case, I will put the motion. All those in favour, please say aye. aye. Against? Yeah. Carried. Our second agenda item is the legislation affecting elected members and a general explanation. Don't worry, I won't read the whole paper. <laughs> I'm sure you're all looking forward to having some celebratory drinks and nibbles with your family. So this really is very procedural uh, and it's just us um, accepting the various laws that affect us in our role as elected um, members. So would I, I would ask for a mover and seconder please. Absolutely. Thank you Councillor Taylor, seconded by Deputy Mayor Brosnan. Did you wish to speak to this? No. <laughs> uh, all those in favour please say aye. aye. Against? Aye. Carried. And then lastly on our agenda is the setting of our first council meeting um, following on from our, our triennial. And this has been set for Tuesday the 15th of November at 9am. And we're also confirming the meeting schedule for the remainder of this calendar year includes an audit and risk committee meeting on the 2nd of December. May I have a mover and seconder please? Thank you, Councillor Simpson, seconded by Councillor Mawson. Did you wish to talk to that? No? Uh, all those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Against? Carried. Thank you, everyone. That brings us to the conclusion of the uh, formal part of our proceeding, and I would now welcome all of you to join us uh, and celebrate the rest of this evening uh, with some drinks and nibbles. And thank you once again for all coming to celebrate with us tonight. And a closing card of care. Just to, um, we have a cut of care that our councillors do to start and finish. So, on the books that you got in front of you, we have our closing cut of care. Toru fa kia tau te rangi mari irunga inga iwi katoa o ahuriri. Kia piki te ora, te kaha, me te maramatanga i ngā wā katoa, tihei mauri ora. Kia ora tātou.